meantime, a busy weekend of holiday travel already underway. 38 million people are hitting the road. Some 3 million people are flying today. And CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook live at Newark Airport with a look at just how crowded things have been there this morning. Elijah. Yeah, well, you know what, Doug and Natalie have to say the lines, at least they're moving, at least at this early hour. But we all know that in the uh, minutes, if not hours ahead, things certainly can change. Uh, right now, we're coming to you live from uh, Terminal B, uh, certainly an active uh, terminal at this time, as millions of people are expected to take to the skies for the unofficial start of the summer season. Now, AAA is warning of potentially unprecedented congestion on roads this weekend, along with airports that could be even more crowded than in years past. The organization is forecasting 38.4 million people across the country will travel in cars over the course of the weekend, which would be the biggest number recorded since the uh, organization kept track of this data back in 2000. Uh, as estimated, 3.51 million people are projected to fly this weekend, according to AAA, which is up 3.35 million who traveled on planes to their destinations last year. Now, back out here live, of course, things for the most part remain uh, relatively calm, but we have to say that uh, the lines are starting to uh, pick up. Uh, shout out to the staff at Spirit Airlines who seem to be keeping that line moving despite what it looks like here behind me, but it's always a good idea to get to the airport at least an hour and a half to two hours prior to your scheduled flight. That is the latest here from Terminal B at Newark Airport. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. All right, Elijah, thanks so much.